Hey everyone. Hey everyone, today we are doing the day 4 of advent of cyber. So this time it says, <clears throat> let me zoom in a bit. Ah, uh, this is perfect, okay. So this time it says, Mixus, uh, Mixus admin managed to reset everyone's access except Santa. And uh, Santa has accepted some urgent travel uh, for his route over Christmas. This is all a part of the story. And then it says, can you brute force uh, to help him access his account? And then we have the learning objectives that says understand authentication, understand fuzzing, and understand what a burp suit is. And also how you can use burp suit for fuzzing a login form to gain access. And the fourth one is apply this knowledge to retrieve Santa's travel itinerary. Okay. And then we have what is authentication. This is all part. This is all just theory. And it says authentication is the process of verifying users' identity. Uh, just like uh, uh, why there's a login page. And uh, there's a login page. Uh, uh, to authenticate a user, uh, suppose an admin, uh, and there are username and password. So, uh, but if, he, if, if a user knows a uh, username and password, then only he can log into the admin panel, and that is what the, the authentication does. So that verifies our uh, uh, admin's identity. <clears throat> Next, moving on, uh, we have what is fuzzing. So fuzzing is an automated means of testing an element of a web application until the application gives you a vulnerability or valuable information. Uh, you can say fuzzing uh, just like we saw in the previous day i guess day three or day two it was directory boot forcing so uh, the that is also a part of fuzzing uh, and uh, fuzzing also refers to when uh, you are uh, literally just throwing username and password on a login page and just trying to get in uh, you can say just brute forcing or password spring this is like admin admin or admin password admin password one two three like that so that is also a part of fuzzing then we have it says fuzzing with burp suit. Um, uh, you can use a dead box for this, but I'm using my Kali Linux box, uh, VMware, sorry. And it says let's launch Firefox. Okay, then browse to the application to the IP address. Then open the burp suit. Go to the proxy tab. Uh, turn on the intercept and uh, some some the media on the login form, <clears throat> just like this uh the sum of the invalid credentials since we do not know the valid ones obviously then it says uh, to capture that request in burp suit and then send that request to the intruder and then uh, once you are inside the intruder tab uh you need to select the word list and what word list should we use uh it says the positions tab and clear then at the value of username password use us it says uh, to select the cluster bomb i'll be we'll take a look at all of that uh, just a second then it says now after setting our word list we can see that some passwords have filled the payload options window yeah so uh, the word list has loaded and then it says just start the attack so once the attack is finished we'll be able to see the red plug and credentials and that is a part of pulsing then it's <clears throat> okay and now it says uh navigate to the vulnerable login form and apply the material for today's task to log into centaurs using the username as santa and the password list located at room room uh, root rooms okay at this location so i guess we need to do this in the tag box since we have to fetch this password file uh i guess we can just copy with these passwords i don't want to launch that tag box just for uh, fetching this password file uh, because it's a small file so i'll just copy these ones oh looks like we can also download the word list uh, uh, from here so let's just download it i didn't saw it earlier <laughs> okay let's copy this and uh, uh instead of copying this i'll just copy this url and then i'll go to my kali and then i'll say uh wget is this and we have a password file here let's just Add this out and yeah, move on to Firefox. Let's paste the uh, IP. Uh, let me just copy this IP real quick and then paste it here. And we have sent us travel itinerary. It says username, password, and let's get these presents delivered. Let's take a quick look at the page source. And uh, uh, there's nothing uh, that catches our eye in instantly. And we can also see the robots text file and say it's not found okay uh so let's just try some default passwords 
like admin and password. Oh, sorry. Uh, we saw that the, our task mentioned that the username is center. So let us try center and then admin. And it says invalid username and password. Okay, so let's launch the buffer suit. I should have launched it before. My apologies. I'll get back to you when it's done. All right, I have buff suit open. So let's uh, go to the proxy tab and turn on the intercept. I have already turned it on. And uh, we also need proxy proxy. Uh, if you are new to this burp suit thing and you don't know what is burp suit and you want it to, to be installed uh, and configured on your machine, local machine, uh, Kali machine, then uh, uh, if I do it right now, it'll take a lot of time. So you need to watch a YouTube uh, walkthrough or you can also try the burp suit room on try Hack me. It specifies every step in a great detail. So you can have a look at that. And if, if you are already familiar with it, then you know what is proxy proxy. So let's just turn on, uh, I'm <clears throat> selecting the burp. So let's get the request in burp suit. Uh, admin password. Oh, username was center. So let's change it to center. And we have burp suit. Turn on the intercept, login, send the story uh, intruder. And go to the position step, clear everything and then select only the uh, password since we know the username and we want to brute force the password only because we don't know the password and we want to brute force it and we want to fuzz it with the help of word list so let's go to the payload and then uh, we just gonna say load and then uh passwords okay let's start the deck and this can take some time because since I'm on community edition and the Burpsuit community edition is a bit slow and uh, I do not have the premium version right now so it can take some time okay right now we can see that uh, uh, status uh, is 200 for the requests that are not uh, that are invalid the password that are invalid those status are 200 and we know that because it says invalid user and password so let's just copy this and paste it here and we'll see uh, every request that has this. And we know that, yeah, these requests did not, uh, uh, were not valid. These were invalid. <coughs> uh, I mean, the password was invalid. Okay, but uh, you can also uh, search for status. You click here and you can see the three root status. And three two is for redirection. So we got redirected somewhere. Uh, since uh, this request uh, has the right password, so we got re uh, redirected to the admin panel, I suppose. So let's see the request that was sent. The request was username sent and the password was cookie. And in the response of this, we saw 302 found. So 302 is for redirection. And it says, oh, so let's just uh, log in instead of wasting time. So send up and cookie. And we are in. We have our flag here. And let's just copy this and Oops. Okay, so we did, we did the first task and it says configure Burp Suit in Firefox. We did that, that too. It says what valid passwords can you use to access the send account? So uh, the valid password was cookie, paste it, and it says what is the flag in the send task. And we had this password. It says, ah, okay. So this day's task is completed. Also, there are some other things here. Let's see. So December 2021, Center can have a break today. Uh, Okay, put middle rock on the naughty list. Okay, let's see the uh, page source. I'm just curious, like what else is there? Um, nothing unordinary here. So yeah, I guess this was it for today. I hope this was some uh, kind of helped you or you kind of enjoyed it. Yeah, there's nothing else. Okay, so I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys.